Rocky, Rocky, do. <laughs> hey guys, Ellie and Megan here. I'm a little bit afraid of this goat's horns. I think he has the longest horns in the whole pasture. This is Rocky, for those of you that don't know. And today, my brilliant fiance is gonna give y'all a lesson on the waddle, which would be this thing right here. I assume like probably eight to 10 of your goats have them. So tell um, me what they're about. Tell me about these waddles. We can go count in a minute how many actually have them, but waddles are like a skin tag Rocky. We have to see past your beard and Shep, you're not the star of the show. <laughs> so these are their waddles. They um, have waddles on each side when they have them and they're just like a skin tag. It, okay, are you done Rocky? And if you feel them, they just, it just feels like a little bit of skin and it just hangs. I mean, it doesn't hurt them to pull on it. Um, and it's a genetic trait thing. They serve no purpose. And I think it's interesting because you can really see what parents pass down the waddles trait. I mean, there's, there's no purpose to them. There really is no purpose. So it's kind of like an appendix. And I've, I'm someone who's had an appendectomy before. So trust me, I know. You caught on to the terms. I know all about suffering consequences from a useless body part. <laughs> I get it. Except this won't ever hurt them. It's just a cool genetic thing. It's kind of like if you had a birthmark, that's all it is. Or a skin tag. Even, Some people get skin tags pe removed. Even a lot of people have skin tags too. Yeah, but these you obviously don't remove. So Rocky has one. He has you two, have right? one. He has two, yeah. Yeah, he has one on each side. Look. Here's they, his left they just one. they're like a little snowball kind of honestly i mean you yeah. can feel it it just feels like empty like a skin like empty skin kind yeah, of yeah it feels like they're normal skin but hollow in the yeah middle. you want some screen time yeah <laughs> axel wants screen time yeah he does he used to live with a zebra oh my gosh he did you lived with a zebra didn't you tell before us about, you came to us tell us about how he lived with a zebra well i don't know much about it because so essentially the zebra was lonely so they got him an axel <laughs> and then a my goat <laughs> a goat friend but and zebras are mean aren't they yeah and i don't know we were just supposed to babysit axel for a little bit and his owner was supposed to like come get him again and we just never heard back from her so axel became a permanent resident you're gonna be a great youtuber when and if you decide to make one i know that my viewers will agree with that see you put that out there you put that out there and now people are going to comment. Yes, Megan, do it. Please do it. I've talked to you about it and I said I would wait until if, if <laughs> I did it, I would wait until after we got married because I need to wait until I'm done student teaching. Yeah, there's, that's fair. There's ethical reasons for that. It's, it's a whole, it's, that's a whole lot of education, teacher ethics thing. It's um, a long story we won't get into for this video. <laughs> exactly. You don't want to know about all the... Ethics. Instead... I'm sure there's teachers who know about it and they'll be like, yeah, this he, is a whole thing. Instead, let's count the number of goats that have waddles. Oh. So... Ooh, I want people to guess where the waddles started, too. All and right, so... They would so, have to know a little bit about the goats to know where the waddles started in our herd. As far as the family tree, mm -hmm. I don't think anybody knows the family tree except for you. I'll reveal it at the end of the video. Okay. Or maybe so, in the comments. Yeah. Okay. So, one. Judges. Rockies. Rocky. Two. Um, Not a lot of them have them. Do you have a Mickey? You don't have them, Jilly. Jax has three. them. Three. <laughs> That's three right there. You don't have them. No, none of these do. Um, All right. Time to come. Okay. Wait, this one does. There, this one. Biscuit does. Four. So what's funny is Jax, we just looked at, has waddles, but his twin, Apples, doesn't. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. And Rocky has waddles, but his uh, twin siblings, Kathy and AJ, don't have them. That one does right there. That's five. That's honey, yeah. Honey. That's such a weird little trait. It's she so interesting. She did pass them on to her daughter. Bowers don't get them. I thought Elvis had them. No, Elvis but doesn't have so only it was his sister that had a that, that one does so six. And then do any of these have them? Okay, so seven. You need, to, you need to come look at Gemma's. Look Gemma. at how big hers are. I'm gonna hold there. Here, hold it. Oh, Here. Here, I'll hold it. I'm sorry, Gemma. Oh, he went barefoot. I had to. Where's my shoe? <laughs> my Patrick Mahomes slide. All right. So this, oh, I didn't even realize it was Patrick Mahomes. I thought it was like the Red Supreme thing. 
the red Sorry, one. Gemma. I know you hate Shep. Look at her waddle. It's so long. Hi. Okay, you're fine. You want to hold her and I'll film the waddle? Yeah. All right. Here, you hold Gemma. You comfort her. Okay, Gemma June. Okay, it's okay, Mama. Oh, goodness. All right. Dang, her waddles are really, really long. They're so long and skinny. They feel so weird. Oh, feels... They do. They feel different than Rocky. <laughs> they feel really weird. Oh, wow. That's funny. Jim, I'm sorry winky, that we're disturbing you. Winky. Look at her. Winky. Ugh. Okay. Go, Gemma. Oh, go, Gemma. 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 They could, yeah, they feel funny. They feel very funny. Fred and George don't have them, so y'all don't have them. So we counted funny. seven total that have waddles. You were right about I guess I guessed eight, so I was really, really close. I just did a rough estimation. Okay, His twin did have them. Presley had them. Uh-huh. Um, Dang it. It just depends. It really just depends. Yeah. It's an interesting fact about yeah. this. Yeah. Can, can you please move? Waddles are about as useless as useless information <laughs> and that's something that i have a whole bunch of is useless facts here's it, the thing but a lot of your useless facts are wrong that's not true you yes cool facts is wrong did you know that sometimes neptune is farther from the sun than pluto i do think that's true it is true because it has a 480 year rotation around the sun revolution around the sun rather and i think for 20 something of those years neptune goes further past the sun than pluto because it's not perfectly circular it's like ovalish did you know that what is pluto classified as the dwarf planet oh i knew it <laughs> you gotta do better than that if what you're is gonna the sun? a star Dang it. what kind of star a below average heated star it's a red giant a red giant it's actually a pretty cool which star. which planet has the big red spot jupiter which planet has the most rings? Saturn. Uh, which planet? Um, which planet has the hottest average heat? That's a tough one. Mars. Oh no, Ma it would be Ma Mercury, wouldn't it? No. No? Why it's, wouldn't it be Mercury? It's Venus. Mercury. Why? Mercury is closer to the sun, but Mercury. Mer Lula, Mercury has no atmosphere to trap trap its heat and so during the daytime the side that's close to the sun is incredibly hot but at nighttime the side that faces away from the sun is incredibly cold because it doesn't retain its heat whatsoever venus does have an atmosphere so even though it's a little bit farther away from the sun really oh creel don't sneeze on her creel that's mean oh oh my gosh did he get you yeah he got me creel Ugh. Take it back. Take it. I, I'm telling mom that you need <laughs> some of the medicine tomorrow too to control your allergies. Even though Venus is farther from the sun, it traps and retains its heat because it has an atmosphere. So Venus, therefore, on average, is much hotter than Mercury. Fun fact for the day. Okay. All right, guys. Well, any last words before I end this video? Have a great day. I oh, hope you all have a very blessed day. You're so sweet. And as I always say, your boy Ellie out.